Hello world, thank you for clicking on the latest video from your friends at Golfing the Villages. On today's show, we head back to Bonifay to play some championship golf. Today we'll be teeing it up at Pensacola, which is one of the three nines built for Bonifay. I had the pleasure of playing with a lovely family of third generation villagers. Ken, Chris, and Susan were a total joy to play with, and our foursome played from three separate teeing locations, so we have a little extra footage between the tee boxes. Today, Chris and I tackled the course from the gold tees, which are located up one box from the tips. The scorecard claims we will sling it around this track right around the 3200 yard mark. Recently off camera, I've been playing and working on my game, specifically my putting, and I'm really seeing some great signs of life. I feel like it came at the cost of my short game and, in general, my ball striking. In fact, I think my overall iron play has taken a step backwards. I am sure most of you can relate to those feelings as well, but feel free to comment below and let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get after it. It's another beautiful day in the villages. As we step on the first tee, it's 417 yards, and we are going to start it off with a driver. Looking up the left side, trying to hit a little bit of a cut, and away we go. Oh, Good ball, hit it left, a bit. and now I'm gonna catch okay. the left center of the fairway. It'll be the right in side. good shape. Yep. Great way to start. It's like a little. As you can see, we hit the center of the fairway here, kind of up the left side, but this is a, a go zone for sure. I'm looking on the right edge of that tree that's on the left, sort of those those branches, and I'm trying to cut a fade here. This is seven oh, iron it. and whoopsie daisy. <laughs> that is thin and it's gonna be in the green side yeah. bunker. We'll have a chance at showing our short game. This was a really great leave in the bunker here. It's sitting up very nice. Uh, the sand is a little firm, so I've got the less bounce option on my 62 degree instead of my 56, and I love Thank the way you. it comes out here uh, and uh, just releases a little to the right. I should have aimed a little more to the left, but that that's fine. And now we've got this right. long range putt to try to save par. This would be a good way to start get a nice up and down. I've really been working on my putting and I really got something going. Rolling it up. Oh, that's a really good putt yeah, though. Didn't go in, but we'll take a bogey. Welcome back now on the second tee, 405 yards again with the driver. Very similar type hole to the last. Uh, the pin or the green's gonna be on the left side. And again, I'm just trying to hit a fade. Start it up the left and oh, get the ball the heel, to cut. Okay. And I you can see I started it up left low, oh, got it out of the heel, but it's not very far, but it's gonna be in play. All right, so not hitting it very far caused this to be 178 yards to the pin. I went ahead and took a six iron slightly up the hill. I felt like this is the uh, correct play. And that's a pretty good strike. Uh, looking good. Maybe comes up a little bit short of the green, but uh, it's a good lead and we'll have a good chance. Left up. Here
Here's another opportunity to showcase some short game. Got the ball back. I'm just trying to hit it low and I carried it way too far, which obviously doesn't have a lot of spin and it releases and rolls out. And now I left myself above the hole. So now I'm putting back downhill. It's a bit of a mistake if I'm honest. And it's an okay pup. But see, it just gets away from me at the end. That's, you know, six feet past. And that's, uh, now we've got this for bogey. At least it's up the hill. I can be a little firm with it. And oh, wow, just uh, kept it out. That's going to be a double. Well, the stroke's out up fast when you care about your game, right? Par three now for the third hole. It's 211 yards to the pin. The, the wind is pushing pretty pretty good left to right. I went ahead and got a four iron here just to make sure I'm not short because this is all carry. Great strike. Started it at the bunker, now pushing to the right with a little bit of a cut. Yeah. Great shot. We're on okay. the green with right, a good you. look at birdie. <laughs> Under the green. Birdie putt. <laughs> I don't I don't even know if I could get it on to be honest with you. I don't think I could get it across the water. So here we find ourselves uh, with a long range look. I, I thought it was better from the tee box, but you know how that goes. So the hole is just in front of Ken's left hand there. I'm really looking to lag it up, but I am really trying to make this. With my new putting stroke, I feel really confident. Just stayed out, kept it to within about two, two and a half feet. So I could tap this in for a really easy par. Great bounce back par. You know, that was a really difficult hole that we took on and I felt really great, a lot of confidence. So we step up to the fourth hole. This is our first par five, 497 yards. Again, I'm looking up the left side with the driver, trying to hit a fade. And I strike it, but I leave the face wide open. It starts too far to the right. This is a big wipe. And I see it bounce, but can't tell if it's good. Unfortunately, we had to go fishing, so here's the bonus coverage of that. That's it, though? That one doesn't have any soot on it. It's a fresh, you can tell it's a fresh ball in the water. Be careful in the sand. Yep. That's it. Gosh, I even oh, made oh. bogey on the first attempt fishing. Now it's got a little soot on it, but that's okay. We know it's yours. Okay. Okay, I'll take a lateral. So after taking the yeah. lateral here, I'm dropping two and so hitting three. It's stick. 243 to the pin. I could go for it. Uh, I just didn't want to compound the mistake here. So I decided to lay up with a uh, nine iron just to the widest part of the fairway, which should give me about 100 yards or so in to the flag. Thinned it. <laughs> and yeah, I exactly now good. have no, thinned another shot and uh, things are starting to spiral. <laughs> So even though I thinned it, I managed to leave myself with 105 yards. I decided to take gap wedge. This is again, you've seen, it's in my range. Uh, I shouldn't have any issues. I just want to get it up and down. And I just hosel hit another one. I have no idea what's going on with this swing, wow. but uh, it's, it's getting here. crazy now. Pardon.
just feels like I'm rushing and I'm just sort of spiraling out of control here. So now this is my fifth shot. I've got the 62 degree opened up a little bit here. This is a comfortable shot for me. Uh, I just go ahead and hit it a little too far to the left, but it does, it does release a little to the right. Mm -hmm. And then I've got this putt now to make a bogey, which would be okay if I could roll it. Oh, wow, uh, that's a pretty good stroke. It rolled out a little bit, but my stroke is getting better and I'm really feeling good about the putter. Okay. And now we step to the fifth tee where I was frantically looking for the club that I was holding under my arm. 152 to the pin, 163 to the center. I'm playing the center with an eight iron. Okay strike, it wiped, wiped it a little, little bit. bit, so it okay. took a little bit off of it with that cut short, spin. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be short, uh, short of the green, Maybe. but in a good spot. See now, just from the front of the green oh, here, oh, I've elected to go with the putter, which is the best possible play. Uh, I really think I can hold this putt. I'm very confident, especially with the new stroke. I'm doing a much better job controlling it. And you can see oh, nice hole. bobbles predicted. Oh, oh. wow. Almost broke in. Yeah, you can uh, But it. that's a good par okay, to kind of get me settled back down. You want to take the pin out? Yes, would you like the flag out? Yes, okay. So now over to the sixth tee, which is our next par five. It's 492 yards. And I went ahead and selected the driver from the bag. And we're again looking to start it up that left side with the, where the trees are and just let it peel back to the fairway. So what happened there? That is a sky ball out to the second baseman. And the problem never, is nobody saw where it, it went and I didn't see a splash. Yeah, Look at so with that said, I decide to take a provisional since I have n since nobody knows where that ball is. Very open. Uh, yeah, so yeah, now we're still trying okay. to do the same thing up the left side, but let's make a much better swing. Yes, okay, perfect, good. great good. strike up much the better. left side. Now turning thing. back to the middle. First one was this is a fantastic swing. Okay, I saw it. I saw just it had the top. first one teed I up too high. Forward. So I was fully expecting not to find my first ball, but out of the corner of my right eye, I happened to notice there was a ball just in the front of the fairway, and it was my original ball right there. And so what I ended up doing was not playing it. I ended up playing the provisional, even though I should have played my original ball that would have saved me some strokes. Uh, it does cost me down the road here. So in an effort to keep pace of play going here, I end up playing the provisional. It's 230 yards to the pin, and I've selected the five iron to try to lay up. Oh, I and pull I pull it, this I pull left really over the trees. Oh! A little nervous that there's people over there, but that it is, is really deep on that left side, and wait till you see this. So you can see there, my ball was just up on the cart path. Is. I'm going to take relief. Like I'm like between flying it and just jamming it. All right. Well, you need to pick your shot. I know. Don't, I haven't committed. Don't go address. I got to commit to it. <laughs> don't go address. Don't go address. Okay. So I'm going to go left of. This needs to go low. This needs to come in. Okay, I know what I need to do now. Okay. I'm glad, thank you for calling me off because I, I started to get between hitting two different shots. Again, just not totally settled into this round, thanking Amy that she's there for me. I just oh, set up almost. and I hit this it's thin. I don't yeah, really clip that. it nice, so it. Uh, I'm in oh. a little bit of trouble here. Now I've gone over the green a little ways here, but I decided to get the putter out and try to make things a little bit easier on myself. I could still make this bogey here 
if I could roll this in. It didn't have a chance. It uh, it went okay. dropped Mark. below the hole. I missed kind of on the low side. So now I've got this for a double bogey. Maybe I can make a putt. No, oh, oh, triple three. bogey. Wow. Well, with the provisional, wow. who knows what I would had happen. That on the right Again, who knows what would have happened with the original ball, but it's in the past. I'll, I'll for the integrity of the vlog, I'll, I'll, I'll take the strokes. On to the seventh hole, 191 yards to the pin, and let's go with another five iron. I pulled it Oof, down. That strike is pretty good, but it's pulled okay. left. It's got to get down and find some shot, grass. Yeah. After two straight tugs with a five iron, we're just off the green. Let's listen in to what Rick's thinking. All right, talk through this shot. Okay, so it's a little grabby. It's like that Bermuda kind of scruppy stuff, you know? Uh-huh. So I'm gonna put the ball, you know, back. Hands are gonna be forward here. I'm just gonna tr tumble it forward. Pitch it on the green, I'm using the 56. See, the upslope. Yeah, the upslope is giving an extra loft. So, nice line. thank you. What's the opposite of a master class? But anyway, we're on the green. We've got a long range putt for par. It wasn't horrible. Uh, let's see if we could make a, make a long range putt. I'm feeling pretty good with the flat stick, to be honest. No. Oh, and I just oh missed. That's a really good putt. Oh, like I said, I'm starting to see a lot of good things with the putter. The line's rolling really straight, but nevertheless, it's a bogey. can't get all aspects of my game firing at the same time. There's always going to be something broken, right? That's just the way golf goes. Now we step up the eighth tee. It's 414 yards and another par four. Again with driver, looking up the left side, trying to hit a nice little cut. Good strike. Okay. It just feels like I kind of Fine. bunted the driver yeah. to get it out there, the fairway finder. And we're going to be in play with a, uh, a good chance at trying to get a like scoring club onto the green. I feel like I've been spraying it around with the driver today, so it's nice to hit a fairway and, and get it over 270 yards. With 142 left to the pin, I've got a nine iron in my hand, and it looks like I'm wanting to take a little off this, but the pin's on the right side, perfect for the fader. Just not wow. super well struck, like just a little scuffy if I'm honest, and right. Oh, right in the look trap. at that, it ends up in the bunker. Again, in this well, firm well, sand, yeah. opting for the 62 degree instead of the 56 degree sand wedge that I normally go with, uh, just because the 62 has very little bounce on it, which is great for firmer sand. Something I've been practicing. Let's get out. And uh, yeah. it's okay, it just trundles on, it's, yeah. it's out. What no, can you do? It wasn't perfect, but I've got a long range putt here to try to save par. And I really feel like I'm starting to roll it very well. And I'm controlling the speed. And the line, that's a really good putt. I know it didn't go in and it just rolled out a little bit, but we'll take that for a bogey. Well, if there wasn't pressure on this tee shot, there's even more pressure. Those are sandhill cranes, and I think they're a protected species. I kind of didn't know what to do here, but they're walking around the tee box. Anyway, 472 yards on this ninth hole. It's a par five, and of course, we're going with driver. Wonderful strike. Yeah. Starts we'll down do the it. middle, now good cutting, shot. which is the way this hole goes. Right. Really that happy with one. that drive. Yeah.
It's a good thing we didn't hit a birdie on the tee box, right? All right, so 202 yards to the pin. Again, that last drive was also over about 270 yards. Feeling great. I've got one extra club here with a four iron because I'm gonna try to hit it high and soft. And instead oh, no. I hit it low oh, and gosh. I knifed it. I wiped it. And it bounces and it's oh. Oh, right in the water. Just gutted it out. I think the And welcome to Golfing the Village's The Fishing Channel now, officially. <laughs> Having to fish our second ball out of the water today. <laughs> Instead of using the retriever, just use the old uh, wedge. Sorry. And here we are with an unknown yardage. I guesstimated it's about 65, 70 yards. This time I have the sand wedge. It falls below my feet. It's a little scruffy uh, grass there. So this is a total kind of guesstimate feel shot, but it's a good strike, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that, to be honest sure, with you. I know it's not four feet from the hole, but it had the right direction, the right shape, and uh, yeah, I can get a putter on it, right? So, oh, oh wow, well, there you go. It's now going to be for a bogey. Yes, good job. Well, if you made it to this point in the video, you deserve a gold star. Thank you for watching me spray it around this course as I was determined to get my money's worth. I hope at the very least you were entertained and if it provided you some laughs or at least the warm and fuzzy feelings about your own game, then please consider clicking that like button. That's going to wrap up our coverage for today. Thank you again so much for watching and until next time, we will see you on the course.